we down here at Pace, we had a baseball field. My grandson gonna be playing travel ball game right out there. But we had a ball game, travel ball. But I'm more interested right now in these boys out here in the field suiting up. He looks like he's gearing up like one of them uh, spy outfits but with that rocket propelled backpack on his back. We'll have to figure out what he's doing. Hey y'all, good morning. It's a raining. We get some feeder bands. We didn't have much weather. We've had a tornado warning or two. We get some feeder bands off this hill Delta that struck out there in Louisiana. It's gonna be a rainy day all day. We're going to show you a little bit of a rainy day in an RV. Baby doll's up. I'm up. We didn't go to bed about 2 o'clock. I was up about 7.30. She's up about 8 o'clock. I'm sure we'll nap sometime again today, but we're up drinking coffee. And I made some Martha White, Otis Spunkmeyer, Mike Comets. Strawberry muffins for breakfast this morning. Baby doll says she's working on them. Good. They're good, huh? Well, we are sitting here at a Walmart parking lot. Pulled up here after the ball game last night. Sitting here in the parking lot, enjoying life. Figuring out what we're going to do on a rainy day. We done sort of got some plans. Hey, really ain't nowhere to go, nothing to do. I was going to go out to Fort Pickett State Park and show you a little bit of the breastworks out there and things, but I wasn't thinking about it when we come over here to the ball game. Uh, the bridge, Gulf Breeze Bridge is blowed out from Sally. Wasn't it Sally? Yeah. Knocked all them barges loose, 22 of them. Two or three of them run through the bridge and tore it up. Gonna be six months. These folks that live in Guff Breeze come across that three mile bridge and now have to go a long way around through Milton to get to work in Pensacola. Hey, it's a rainy day in Florida. Liquid sunshine is coming down. Man, if the good Lord owes you a rainy day, he's paying you today. It coming down out there. Coming down out there. We sitting in one of our favorite places. Come down to the ball game last night. Baby Doll told us gonna rain all day today. We just got up and had us a muffin and a cup of coffee and we sitting here contemplating on what to do. And it's driving rain coming down. I can barely see the other side of the parking lot out yonder. Just barely can. And they people walking around out there in the rain. The joker got cardboard over his head trying to stay dry. He in a hurry to go somewhere. He's a Walmart worker. Got that Walmart on. He's a wet Walmart worker right now. And I sit here and listen to the rain. It ain't raining quite as hard. I can see the other side of the parking lot now and out yonder to the road. Just a minute ago, I couldn't see to the road. And I started singing a song. I'll sing it for you. Deal to dawn. What's that rain that you have on? Could it be a faded day from days gone by? And did I hear you say you was meeting Louisiana yesterday? Well, we just come by Walmart Express and spent a little money on that, filled up the generator, 
We good to go. We're going to get out of Dodge here and go over to another place. She wants to go over to Belts. So we're going to ride over there. <laughs> we're going to ride over to Belts. Let her spend her $100 over at Belt. she said. She wants to go over Belt. That's cheaper than the casino. She's, she, what? You got that right. You got that right. She's over here getting ready to make some uh, sewing crafts here. She'll show you in a little bit. She's going to sew up cozies. some. What? Soup cozies. Soup cozies. Hold a bowl, hot bowl of soup while you're eating. What she's getting ready to do. So if you're making soup cozies, we're going to get out of Dodge. We filled up with gas, took the generator. About 50 cents an hour for the last 14 hours is what, what we burnt in that little old Honda generator. Keeping us cool and electricity and TV and charging our appliances and stuff. Fits in our pretty good. Went to Washington, D.C. Of the sewing world. The capital of the sewing world. We're at Jerusalem. Of the sewing world. Capital of the sewing world. Joanne's Fabrics. Baby doll had to come get her a pair of pinking shears. Hers has got dull. She wanted to come get some pinking shears so she's here to get her some pinking shears do a little craft work we left walmart over there where we was this morning when it was doing all that raining we were sitting tight and quiet got to crank the generator or what but it ain't running when i gassed up a while ago gassed it up it done real good we run 14 hours on 3.3 gallons. That's what it took to fill it back up. So we're gonna go out here and crank this little joker up and see if we can't cool some stuff down. Get that cooler going again. It's on. It's running. Oh yeah, it's running. I wonder if I need to check the oil in it. I went around the curve, it may have slung the oil down. Cut the oil cutoff switch on. Well, we hit Joanne's. And well, we gonna ease on over to Belk and let her spend her $10 over at Belk's. Make her happy. Now this is the way I like to shop. In the cool, I don't have to get out. I just pull up and shop. And wait on her to shop. I'm wanting a little snack. So I'm eating one of my favorite snacks. Saltine crackers and mayonnaise. I'm about to say saltine crackers and mayonnaise. Yeah, that's one of my, my favorite snacks. A little mayonnaise on a saltine cracker. That's sort of like a mayonnaise sandwich. Notice I said sandwich, not sandwich. But I will eat a mayonnaise sandwich. I made a bunch of them growing up because I like mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise and crackers. That's one of my favorite go-to snacks. Try it. It's, it's good. dinner time at the Comet's house. We sitting at Belk's our strawberry muffin done run out. We sitting at Belk and Mama in there you can see it right up there behind that tree. We sitting in Belt. Mama in there trying to spend her $10. She looking. They got some kind of big sale going on. They got some big kind of sale going on every day of the week. But she's in there looking. And I'm sitting down here. And I'm cooking dinner. We got a little roadkill and some stuff we going to put together. I'll show you what we got going. And there it is all plated up. There's turnip greens. Yellow rice. Green bean casserole, fried spam, and fried cornbread. The sixth blessing. Lord, we thank you for your blessings that you give us. Thank you for keeping us safe in the storm, Lord. Not letting anything happen to us. We love you and thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for this food, Lord, that you give to us every day. Lord, bless it, our bodies, our bodies of service. Most importantly, Lord, let us be ready to go when you come or call for us, Lord. And we're looking for you to come. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Today. Uh, JC Penny is I'm gonna sit down here. Like an extra 25% off with coupon.
Ease into rich colors and cozy Maybe layers with it. our new fall Enjoy this meal. Jeans, time to stock up on Levi's. Hey, I done sample that green bean casserole. Season. That's a buffalo flatbread. It just tastes like you at Thanksgiving egg. or Christmas dinner. Oh, hiding, huh? It's the good. Buffalo chicken papadilla, tangy buffalo. She's up there sewing. Well, I'll give you a quick overview of where we at. We right here at the end of the airport. Got them planes coming in. But we also right here in the Walmart parking lot. I cook a lot. Sometimes when I don't want to cook, we in a Walmart parking lot. The deli in Walmart is one of the best places to eat. Cheap too. And Walmart rotisserie chicken after about eight or nine o'clock they sometimes put some put them on sale if they got too many of them hey that's some of the finest chicken for some of the finest eating that you'll get we can make two meals off of that off a of rotisserie chicken make a bowl well, bowl of chicken salad off of half of it and eat half of it when it's hot way we like to do supper. Sun's going down. Fixing to be dark. Perfect day in paradise. There ain't nothing like the hum of a motor to put you to sleep. A generator, a diesel engine on a tow boat, a truck idling, diesel truck idling, in a parking lot somewhere. Ooh, you talk about peaceful, quiet sleep. That's my quiet noise. A motor running. Hey y'all. Hey, you have to eat. Sunday morning. We're listening to SBN Network going to church in our motor home on TV. We got church going right now while we're doing our activities. But, uh, enjoying some good singing. So, uh, Sunday morning. So, uh, well, we fixed to fix some three-can soup. I'll show you what we're doing. There it is, three cans. Tomatoes, cream style corn, French style green beans. And we're gonna put that in some brown hamburger meat. Add a little ketchup, a little barbecue sauce, maybe a little Worcestershire. Make us three can soup, hamburger soup, or three can soup, whatever you wanna call it. Some people call it refrigerator stew. You can cook it out of leftovers. But we getting ready to Make us some more southern comfort food. Baseball. Again today. We're, we're here at the travel ball tournament. Getting ready to play. Grandson will be playing today again. Got it going on. Well, I better go get myself set up ready. I'm going to take the ladder over so Mama can climb the fence. Set our chairs up and get our spot where she can film a little bit. Oh, it's still early in the morning. I'm not used to getting up this early. About 11 o'clock is my bedtime, and it's already, we done been up since about 8 o'clock. 11 o'clock is my get up time. I'm going to go move the chair, and I'll take you with me. Well, I got to get the gear around there to the part of it. I'm going to take the ladder for her to climb the fence to film and there's one the old chair I'll take the better chair around there and good chairs walk off sometimes if you leave them sitting by themselves old toe up chair don't walk off near as fast I'll, I'll show you when I get around there where we go listen tell me what you hear what you see I see people everywhere we're on field number 16, and I think they got more fields than that out here. And 
and most every one of them got a baseball game going on today. Two, three, four, five baseball game. We in a travel ball tournament. We in a travel ball tournament down here. Pace out here in a baseball complex, and it sure is nice. It's a nice place. But uh, there's 14,000 major potential major leaguers here, and every parent here is hoping that their kid makes it. And they're bringing them out here just just as faithful as anything to play this baseball. And if they'd take them to the library, they'd be a lot better off. <laughs> Can you hear the ping of the bats? They're pinging them metal bats. I'd love to have the money that was spent on bats. This part today. Ping. That's all you hear is ping. Metal bats. There's no crack of the wood. They don't go crack. And listen, these bat guys got this thing figured out. You gotta have the latest and greatest bat to hit that ball. And uh, them latest and greatest bats are expensive, 100, 200 dollars for Chasing the sports gods. Hey, I chased it, me and my kids chased it, but we were fortunate that uh, we could handle the academic side. My kids could handle the academic side. I never good. I wasn't too good. I graduated in the top 10% of the bottom third of my class. So. But I married well, mama was an honor student, about, uh, about the club and all that kind of stuff. She graduated at cum laude, magna cum laude or something. I just graduated, thank the laude. Oh, well, we having a good life. We got some good little boys and I'm telling you, they are improved. They are improved from what they was when they started a year ago. I'm not sure the coaches that are observing them every day realize how much they've improved. I hadn't seen them in a month till yesterday. And the improvement that they have made in that month that I hadn't seen them is just mind boggling, you know. They just keep getting better and better. And that's the key of play. That's the key behind the reason to play. And you coach is to make them better. Uh, you can see you can see coaches that their teams get better all year long. They're the real coaches. The coaches that draft a big a good team and they don't never get no better. They're not real coaches. But them coaches that their team gets better every every game every every day. Those are real coaches. I like to see. Kids get better every day. And there she is, using her cozy. See her cup cozy there, sitting on the, sitting on the counter, keeping the counter cool, hand cool, or whatever you want to keep cool. Cup cozy. Normally I hold my suit like this. Normally she holds like that in her hand, but uh, she's usually in that chair. In the chair. So uh, there we go. Cut cozy. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.